Linda's Pantry and today I'm going to make you some keto friendly mayonnaise and this is clean keto. Uh, I know a lot of people that are on a ketogenic diet and they eat the best foods or, or the name brand mayonnaises and they are full of soybean oil even if they say avocado oil if you read the ingredients many times well all of them that I've read except for this one has canola oil, soybean oil, all those oils that we are not supposed to be consuming. So they're bad for you. So you think on the label you're getting something healthy because it says olive oil or avocado oil. Yeah, no, read, you gotta read the label. This one I picked up at Costco. So there's a pint and a half here and it's $6.79, which it's delicious mayonnaise and the ingredients are very simple avocado oil, filtered water, eggs, and everything is organic. Uh, distilled white vinegar, mustard, all organic, um, and mustard seed, salt, organic rosemary. Hmm. I don't, I don't even, I don't even get a hint of that rosemary, but this is really good mayonnaise. This is by Chosen Foods. I'll try to leave a picture of it, um, at the end, but we're going to make our own today. So, Right here, well, I'm going to bring you in close so you guys can see up close. I've got three eggs that I've let come to room temperature, and I'm just going to need the yolks out of those. And so I've got my Tupperware egg separator. I love this. Um, it comes with a, uh, it also comes with a couple other attachments. It's got a grater attachment. It's got all kinds of stuff. So, but the egg separator is what I'm looking for. So we're gonna get these pieces aside. It actually even has a seal, so if you wanted to seal it, um, you could, or uh, if you put your lemon juice in there, because um, it, it has a juicer. But today, all we need is the egg separator. And I'm gonna use the Power Chef um, because it has a pour spout, so I can pour my olive oil in very, or my avocado oil in very, very slowly in the beginning to emulsify everything together so it doesn't break. You don't want those fats to separate because they will if you go too fast. All right, come on in and we're gonna get our uh, mustard and our eggs all mixed up and then we'll start with the process. Okay guys, we are ready. So I have my egg separator, look how cute. I mean, that's just a great little attachment. Can you do it in your hand? Yes, you can. I think it's a little messy for me. So I'm not on camera. I, I don't want to be running to the sink to wash my hands. So there you go. Discard that shell that just got on there. Ah! And we will put our yolk See, the yolk just stays right there. Our yolk's gonna go right in our Power Chef. One yolk. And let's get two more eggs. And these are um, uh, pasture eggs. I get eggs that are here locally. They're on eight acres of pasture. These chickens are lucky. You don't want any yolk in your, or any, you know, you, you don't want any of it mixed in. So you try to get as much of that egg white out. You just tip it back and forth. And there goes yolk number two. And this is pretty rich. Um, you know, everybody says, oh, mayonnaise is so bad for you. But if you think about it, it's got the perfect fat. It's healthy fats. It's, um, it's absolutely wonderful. So you can use this to um, coat chicken breast, keep it nice and moist. Um, there's all kinds of applications for eggs. This, this one doesn't want to let go oh, of its yolk. So it, oh, it didn't want to let go of the white. So let's put it back. Let's get it back in there. See if we can't get, convince it. There we go. And you can use whole egg too. Now I'm going to save these egg whites for a different recipe because I'm going to be making some cloud bread. So I'll save those. And you definitely don't want any yolk in that. Okay. So in this mixture now, in the, in the Power Chef, I'm going to add some Dijon mustard. This is going to help it emulsify together. And I really like quite a bit of Dijon. A heaping teaspoon. There we go. And we'll set that over here. 
And the neat thing about the Power Chef, I've got the paddle in there, but I'm gonna get the lid on here. And over here, there's a little spout over here that you can set um, your funnel, and that is to uh, put in your oil very slowly. So for salad dressings, anything like that. But right now, we're gonna We got the Dijon and the egg all mixed up, the egg yolks. Okay, so we are now going to juice because we want some acid. Now you can use vinegar, but I really like lemon. It brightens the mayonnaise up quite a bit. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon of juice. That's a juicy lemon. I just bought five pounds. Of lemons okay now we're ready to start our oil so I'm going to stick this on here and I've got 100% non GMO avocado oil um, I got this two liter container at Costco and um, I'm super excited it's a very high smoke point but so you can you know you can bake that chicken breast with this mayonnaise but it's a healthy alternative so you're just gonna go ahead and Fill your container, and it's slowly releasing the oil for you. Very cool. Very slow, steady stream. I don't know if you can see how it's going down, but it's a slow, steady stream. So I'm going to refill that up to the top and we'll start again. bit of time because this lets down just a little steady steady stream very very slowly into your container so now we've got mayonnaise and I do want to salt it I'm gonna use Himalayan pink salt about uh, half a teaspoon or so um, I might even add a little bit more because I did taste this. I might add a little bit more of the lemon juice at this point as well. Just because I like, I like a little tang to my mayonnaise. And you could, at this point, you could actually um, add some lemon rind and some garlic and make a beautiful aioli. Um, but for the stuff that I'm gonna be using it for right away, I'm not gonna need that. Give it a few more curls on the good old power shelf. And now we are ready to take this lid off. And close that up. You can make whipped cream in this. And look, when you go camping, if you forgot mayonnaise and you've got vinegar and you've got, well, it doesn't wanna come off for me. If you've got vinegar and you've got um, there we go. It just my hands are slippery. Uh, and some egg yolks. You can make mayonnaise right in camp if you have one of these in your camp trailer or in your camp box. So this is beautiful. I just absolutely look at that thick and delicious. Mm -hmm. And if it was too thin, you could always add another yolk. Um, but I think it's going to be perfect because I really. I really enjoy, look at that. I'm gonna get this down into um, my jar, my one pint um, mason jar. And whoops, I'm making a mess everywhere. And by adding the lemon juice, it's, you know, it thinned it down a little bit, but it's gonna be delicious for me. Like I said, if you really want it thin or thick, you just add another egg yolk in there. And, oh, whoever invented this miracle, it's 
bread was genius. Kind of be combining healthy fats together. All right, I'm gonna do a little taste test off camera. <laughs> it's bright. It's got a delicious, very creamy texture to it. It's absolutely wonderful. So this is going in my refrigerator. It'll be more than enough for what I need for the next week or so. It'll keep for about a week, week and a half in your refrigerator. And there you go, you have beautiful homemade mayonnaise. Now, the next time I do a variation and I come back for, um, you know, a new video on, on the next batch of mayonnaise, I am gonna do a flavored mayo for you so you get to see some different varieties and maybe it'll give you a little bit of an idea of what you can do to change things up. But having this in your refrigerator, knowing it's healthy, and add the fraction of what this cost. Absolutely wonderful. So guys, if you like this sort of thing and you want to see me make a couple recipes with this, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button so you get notified whenever I upload, which is quite often. But economical wise, this didn't take that long and it's fresh and I know exactly what it's in it. So um, I will do the next version using vinegar and we'll give a taste comparison as well as um, I'm going to make some flavored aiolis that are going to be absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to use up the rest of this, but the next video, if you want to see it, I'm going to show you my favorite.